from our fun, historic, retro Suzy Q night. So just to start everybody off, I want to make sure that we work the kickball changes, that we use both laterally and circular. So, with our right foot, we do our kickball change, and when we travel it going left, we go kickball change, kickball change, to travel the down on the ball change. We're doing it with the left foot, we do the kickball change to the side, or if we're traveling to the right, we go kickball change, kickball down, kick, and our nose follows the toes. So that'll be helpful for both the follows and the leaders. I'm going to invite Shane into the green with me, and we're going to talk through what we did in the first class. So we did a sugar push, we brought it in a little bit different, we wanted to add a little more swing. One, slightly side two, three and four, that shapes it so we can come across five and six, then kick, ball, change, kick, ball, change, kick, ball, change. And then I come up, we stretch again, and then we dance it out. And we'll shut up in the other direction. One, two, three, four, five, six, kick, 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 ball, change, and then whatever we want to do from there. Then we want to do the same thing by doing a whip with a hammer lock. In the second class. One, two, three, drop the hand, four behind, five, six, hand change, seven, and eight, kick, ball, change. Ball change, kick ball change, kick ball change. So it rotates around. Another stretch, and then we take out to whatever the next finger will be. Yeah, we'll show it this way. One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. One and two, three and four. I'm using my body to get that rotation, and then I'm ready. I come out, and then I dance it out. There you have it. Don't forget to click the subscribe button below.